Indian university professor fired for quote unquote insulting Hindu God. On April 23rd, Gursang Preet Kuar, no, Karur, I'm going to say Kuar, a university professor at lovely, uh, lovely professional university in Punjab, India, was fired over an alleged offensive comment regarding the Hindu god Rama. According to the outrage, Ka uh, Kuar put the deity in a bad light by referring to Rama as, quote unquote, a cunning person. A video recorded during a presentation showed Kuar making the comment, quote, actually, Rama is not a good person by heart. According to legend, Rama is an incarnation of the god Shubu, Vishnu. Oh my God, big mistake. The god Vishnu and his wife Sita. Uh, and his wife Sita was kidnapped by the demon king Ra Ravana. After Rama saved her from Ravana, Sita was had to prove her purity by subjecting herself to a trial by fire. Rama is seen as a revered deity associated with righteousness and chivalry by most Hindus. Kuar's lecture challenged the historic lens through which Rama is usually seen and questioned if he is indeed as righteous as people claim. She flipped the traditional narrative on its head when stating, quote, how can I decide in who is good and evil? And the whole world is worshiping Ram and saying Ravana is a bad person. She accused Rama of planning to trap Sita and, quote, put all the blame on Ravana. The university quickly distanced itself from Kuar's comment. Their statement said, we wish to clarify that the views shared by her who are absolutely personal and the university does not endorse any of them, adding, we have always been a secular university where people from all religions and faiths are treated equally with love and respect. Are you telling me people's beliefs were challenged in a university? Yes. How dare she? How dare you? Um, Rama was definitely not a good person. He burned his wife to prove her purity. The, the most important part of the story, by the way, we got another anonymous donation and we also had the one before earlier. So thank you for that, guys. Um, but the most the most one of the most famous parts of Rama's story is when Sita was accused by people of um, having sexual relationships with his with her abductor. What was his name? The guy with the many heads? Ravana. R yes, that guy. And she was like, no, -uh, I'm pure. I didn't sleep with him. And people were like, yes, you did. And she was like, no, I didn't. And like, they were like, okay, prove it. If you survive this pile of fire, then you're pure. And Rama was like, yes, do it. So Rama was like, the whole story of Rama was like, purity culture. This is a very extreme version of purity culture. Like one reason why we're against, oh yeah. So all the Hindu um, people in India, Hindutva people who are like, oh, hijab bad, hijab oppressive. The, what, the reason why hijab is bad is because hijab promotes modesty culture, right? But guess what? Hinduism also promotes modesty culture. Through, and one way, major way it does that is through this the story of Rama, where Sita had to pr uh, prove, go to this length to show that she's pure. So if you're a, if any good argument against hijab would be also against Rama would be against Hindu scripture. What do you think? No, I agree. If you scroll down, we can actually listen to the audio that caused all this trouble. And what's interesting is a lot of people are saying, no, it's in the tweet. Um, they're saying, oh my God, I completely lost my train of thought. I'm not feeling like very well today, which is why I can't like communicate okay. effectively. Um, oh, wait, no, they were saying, okay, this is a clip that people are so outreached over. What is, can we get the full lecture? Like, let's get the full speech. What is the context of this? You know, there, this, this was a tiny portion of a whole lecture. Like, we can't really understand her full meaning with this. But I found her, what she had to say, like, really fascinating. And I think you will really like it. Okay, so should, should I play it? Yes. But actually, do you know Ravan is a very good person by heart? 
Ram is not a good person. Ram is not a good person at all. Ravan is a good person. I find Ram is a cunning person. He made all the plan to trap Sita in that. He put Sita into trouble and put all the blame on Ravan. How can we decide who is good and evil is? And the whole world is worshipping Ram and uh, saying that Ravan is a bad person. And all the plan is done by him. So how he can be so good? He is cunning. We try to give this type of arguments that can make people think about it. That is extraordinary is. Right? Anyways, confidence is good. How did he exactly con everybody again? Like when? Well, that's her like argument. Was, was his was Rama's plan for Sita to be kidnapped? Like was that his plan entirely? Um, no. That's pretty cool. But that's maybe there is more. Again, I'm I'm not fully aware of the full context of what she's saying, um, because we only have like a clip that's less than a minute long, but maybe she was talking about the broader situation rom like did allow for the situation in which her she was kidnapped essentially um yeah also rob um yeah we need to actually do as i'm gonna for people who don't know i'm doing uh, streams on hinduism hindu scripture uh we're gonna review this part this story as well in, in those series. We're gonna go through details and figure out whether Rama was in the right or in the wrong, okay? Uh, but here, here's an interesting point. Oxymoron usually, who's usually um, disagrees with us on some any of these points is saying, I actually support this, like the teacher, if they will be consistent with this, just on academic grounds. No, actually, Oxymoron, you should be able to say this even without, without being on academic grounds. Like, I could say like, screw Rama, like, you know, I could, I mean, I want to swear, but YouTube doesn't let me, but I should be able to do that. I should be like, you know what? He's a, he's a jerk. Rama was a jerk. Okay. Rama was an a-hole. Okay. Well, and this is not academic, but I should be able to do that. But is she in trouble? Like, is she got What trouble is she in now because of this? She got fired. Is she like, is she not going to get her job back? Like she can't talk. So you can't analyze Hindu scripture in India. And without she literally your... says in it, she, in the end, that clip, she's saying like, I'm saying this to get people thinking about it. Oh yeah. Like okay, basically thinking... saying we're what, like flipping the roles in tropes of this story to like reconsider, you know, everything we've been taught to believe about this legend. You know, like just flipping it on its head. Like if we looked at this through a different angle, how might we read this story? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's like what academics do. <laughs> yeah, I'm challenging. I'm, I'm making you like we have a story here. I'm trying to let's see if we could frame it in a different way to see if you're capable of looking at things differently. That's what you're supposed to do as in a university to like challenge your views about the views that you have about things. And she's being a good, responsible teacher. She's like sh doing it for you. She's like poking at things that you hold, that you assumed, you know. So that's a, that's oh my god. And you lose your. This is obviously your job a for me, huge a good issue teacher. of academic freedom. Mm. Like you're, not, how do you question if this is off limits? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Secular okay. rarity saying, hmm, weird. If the story was true, then why would it be a problem to approach it in this way? I mean, I mean, obviously it's not true, it's a myth, but I think you mean like if if these roles that were given to us were it were given to the characters were so true, then yeah. It should be obvious that that's the truth, and it wouldn't bother people to approach it in this problem. And Forever Stormy is saying, she's basically saying that Vishnu planned the whole thing by incarnating as Ram. Oh, interesting. That's a good way to put it. Um, and then so therefore yeah. Sita's kidnapping was predestined. Mm, Excellent okay. point. Excellent point from Stormy. So basically it's kind of like in Christianity, you're saying like, um, it's kind of like saying like God put the tree in the eden why did he put it there didn't mm -hmm. he kind of he he knew that eden uh, that eve is going to eve 
the apple and he predestined to do so so you could like oh like let's look at the genesis story god is a is being a jerk here like he told Adam and eve not to eat the apple knowing that they're going to eat it he put the tree there and then he punished them for it so god is a jerk so if you say that like to people who just accepted the story if you like reframe it like that people are like more like yeah so it encourages them to like look at it from different angles so you know it's interesting it's interesting to start like okay you know forget forget religion okay what if i just like told you like okay let me make a justification for make you voldemort's case okay and take harry potter's story exactly and tell you that like what if i read you the story in a different way like look at it from voldemort's perspective and show you that maybe he's not as evil as you think if you if you see things from his perspective right mm -hmm. and even mm -hmm. if it's wrong just it would just be an interesting practice just to see like show you how things could be about framing mm -hmm. right like you, you, that how you have to be mindful of how stories are being framed because framed differently uh, things that used to be look good or evil might now look exactly the opposite and you just being mindful of that will make you look at go into the world and analyze things with a little bit more nuance and a little more objective and also a little bit more aware of your own emotions and how your emotions will have an effect on your final judgment on how you read a story so i think that's a very interesting exercise to go through yeah. I, I completely <laughs> agree this is like a normal academic exercise that people do yeah forever stormy is making a good point as well also it's important to note that she's sikh a minority saying such things is intolerable in india right now Ooh. yeah i think this is um just a symptom of the current political environment it's 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 a, it's a result and symptom of the current political climate all right somebody on facebook is saying why uh, is just asking us why you don't believe about god allah and my, we do we're we're secret muslims here okay i don't oh, know oh wait we, that's we, also true <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know i think you didn't get the memo both me and susanna are muslims but just don't tell anybody okay um okay you, can you guys, we don't psh, don't tell anyone we, else either yes yes taria, taria. atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 